Welcome to session 10 video blog. My name is Dr. Andrew Burley and I'm just going to give you a little bit of an update on the excavations to show you how it's progressed over the last couple of weeks. The team have worked very hard and the weather's been very good which has very much helped what we've been trying to do. As you can see the site's coming on rather nicely. In the foreground here right in front of me we've got the remains of a rubble filled trench for a building probably construction trench. You can see the rubble starting to come around here, a little offshoot of a wall up next to Rupert where he's working, and the continuation of the building wall coming right through the trench here. And this is most certainly a post-Roman structure with an apse at the edge here on this side. Possibly uh, it could have been a church or something like that, but it's too early to say for sure at the moment. We'll have to watch this space and see what sort of stuff we find from the middle of the building to give us a clue about its use. If we keep panning around where the girls are working down here and uh, see what they're up to, including Peter of course, who has a beard so he's clearly not one of the girls, we can see in the foreground a huge rubble filled pit and again this is a post-Roman structure. It actually goes, or a feature, it actually goes with a very large flag floor which we uncovered quite a few weeks ago now and it's just outside that building in its footprint. You can see some of the enormous boulders that they've thrown in here and goodness knows what's at the bottom of this but over the next couple of weeks we'll try our best to find out what's been going on. If we pan around a little bit more you can see how this sits or has been cut through our post-Roman rubble line feature there where the girls are working. So again nice sequencing of post-Roman material going on on the site and showing us a continuation of the occupation. The rest of the work that's been going on has been a lot of refinement work trying to clean up the excavations so we can get that sort of photo finish and really see how things sit next to each other on the site. So a lot of work has gone onto this street here which is a fourth century street between two sets of buildings where the girls are working the guys have done a terrific job tidying this up so we can see all the individual stones of the street, how they sat next to each other. And of course, as we do this, we get underlying features starting to poke through. So here again in the shot, we've got evidence of a dip in the street where a larger earlier trench cuts through where Ron's working there. And if we pan round, we can see how this perhaps might have interfaced with another large earlier structure or trench feature of some form of ditch cutting through under this 4th century building on the other side of the street. Now this sort of collapse has taken place while the building was actually occupied and as a result the floor surfaces in here have been relayed many times to try and compensate for the collapse in the building. And of course uh, it, in the end it didn't work and people had to abandon this space because you can see this is rather catastrophic the way that this structure has collapsed. On the other side of this we, of course we've got the very large robber trench which we found a number of months ago and the team have been working hard to try and uncover the very last phase of occupation at the bottom of the robber trench, probably late 2nd, early 3rd century in date. Unfortunately the stone robbers have ripped everything out including the continuation of the street that we just saw and the building that was on the other side of the street. But underneath here we've got all sorts of lovely features starting to come through. Uh, we've got more ditches like this one here which has actually been reused as an oven or an oven's been placed on top of the ditch. We've got the floor of a potential workshop here and where the girls are working at the back if we just pop over you can see dark stains in the ground here cut through the clay. There's one coming through here another one around the other side There we are, between Matt and Becky, curving round there. Hopefully you can see that. Shows up very well in the trench. And what we're looking at there potentially are the footprints of circular buildings, roundhouses, which are of severe in date at the site. As we keep going across here, we can see that we've got an awful lot of work left to do on this area. And it won't be until probably 2014-15 before we have a proper look at these sorts of levels right across the rest of the site because our next priority will be continue to push south towards the Fort Wall and then to push west towards the Via Decumana.